Welcome to the part 4 video of module 6. Here we are discussing about SPI process in detail. It is a K2 question. Very important. Then uh, let's discuss the 5 activities of SPI process. So first is um, assessment and gap analysis. Now you remember SPI stands for software process improvement. So organizations adopt this SPI to improve the level of the organization okay so first activity is assessment and gap analysis then education and training selection and justification installation or migration evaluation these are the five main activities now first is assessment and gap analysis so we discuss assessment technique for SPI then the gap analysis technique for SPI so assessment examines um, the actions that lead to high quality processes that is whether there is consistency sophistication acceptance and commitment so this can be uh, analyzed or assessed with the help of few questions okay now to know how far is the consistency we can ask the questions like are important activities and actions or tasks apply consistently across all software projects and by all software teams then in case of sophistication are management and technical actions performed with some level of sophistication that is whether it is a, a very simple uh, and silly process or uh, sophisticated and complex uh, processes are uh, there for better understanding of the best practice Next, acceptance, whether the uh, software process and software engineering practice is widely accepted by all the uh, management and technical staff. Okay, So, this, these things will all help in improvement. Then, commitment. Has the management really committed the resources required to achieve these uh, uh, points above okay that is consistency sophistication and acceptance are the management members really committed for that next is gap analysis that is the difference between uh, what we are doing and the ideal case okay so the difference between local application and best practice represents the gap and the gap will offer opportunities for improvement next is education and training so three types of education and training should be conducted okay so that is um, all levels of uh, people which are employed or uh, even at the management level people they are to be educated okay for SPI now first is they should be educated in these concepts that is generic concepts and methods which is directed towards managers and practitioners okay and this uh, stresses is both practice and process and it provides professionals with intellectual tools that they need to apply uh, so that the process works effectively then specific technology and tools so this education will be uh, primarily towards the practitioners about the tools and technologies okay then for business communication and um, quality related topics so they will be directed towards the stakeholders okay that is how the uh, consumers or customers or stakeholders will um, communicate how they should communicate their views of requirements to the uh, company okay uh, this category focuses on the soft topics that enable better communication next is selection and justification so they choose the process model that best fits your organization its stakeholders and the software that you build okay then also uh, so the proper selection is there and uh, once the choice is made the time and money must be expended to install it within an organization and all the things that we expend on it the resources that we expend on it should be justified so give a proper selection and it should be justifiable one this would help in SPI installation or migration uh, so they are actually software process redesign SPR activities okay for redesigning if you need to install it or reinstalling or migrate 
it means moving it from one place to another so SPR is concerned with identification application and refinement of new ways to dramatically improve our software processes so the different um, process models here are uh, the existing process that is as it is as is model then that is installing it as it is then a transitional that is from here to their process model okay that is a kind of migration only then the target that is how it should be transformed into it is a kind of migration again so the target or to be process next is evaluation it assesses the degree to which changes have to be instantiated and adopted okay so that is evaluation so these are the main activities then uh, this can be an added activity or it could be asked separately it was a KTU question it is to manage uh, risks that is risk management for SPI so we need to manage the risks at three key points in the SPI process that is uh, prior before the initiation of the SPI then during the execution of the SPI activities as we mentioned and during the evaluation activity that follows the instantiation so risk management is another activity in general the following can be identified for SPI risk factors so what are the uh, areas of risk firstly budget and cost content and deliverable culture maintenance of SPI deliverables etc okay so they are the areas where um, uh, SPI should be given more attention okay uh, they these are the risk factors now next we would like to go to the critical success factors or CSFs for a successful SPI this is another important KTU, KTU question so the top five CSF okay so success factors are dependent on um, the factors that I'm going to mention to you right now so first is management commitment and support of course SPI will succeed only if the management is actively involved. Senior managers should recognize the importance of SPI and technical managers should be heavily involved. Okay, so all uh, on the whole, everybody should be actively in involved. That is a success factor. Next, staff involvement. That is, if SPI efforts are to succeed, improvement must be organic that means at the base level sponsor it should be sponsored by the technical managers and the senior technologists okay and adopted by the local practitioners okay should be really organic and transparent next is process integration and understanding so the software process must integrate with other business process and requirements okay so the integration um, is possible only if everybody is really clear with each uh, process and its requirement okay so that is another point which determines the success factor next a customized SPI strategy the SPI roadmap must be adaptable to the local environment that is the team culture the product mix the local strength and weaknesses all these um, should be a uh, a customized SPS strategy okay then that would determine the success next uh, a solid management of SPI project another uh, important factor is the SPI is a project which involves coordination scheduling parallel uh, working then adaptation politics and much more okay so uh, without the active and effective management the SPI project would fail that means every uh, person and task and process who are involved in the organization should work hand in hand only then a proper SPI can be adapt adopted okay so uh, the next topic CMMI in my next video thank you